Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. 12 tons of a material with a specific weight of 113 pounds per cubic foot, an internal friction angle of 30 degrees, and a natural moisture content of 8% is dropped by an overhead conveyor to a level surface below. The resulting pile height will not be more than, select the closest answer. All right, so the trick to this guy is really picturizing what is happening. Uh, we, we sort of have a conveyor, so I'll kind of draw a picture here. We have a conveyor that's dropping materials, so we can see that we're dropping materials onto sort of a level surface. And so the resulting pile would look something like that. Uh, that 30 degrees right there, the internal friction angle, that represents the angle of this right here between your pile and your level surface. So uh, that's sort of your angle of repose, I believe. Um, if, I'm, if I'm remembering right, that's your angle of repose. And, uh, and so let's go ahead and move forward here. Uh, we're wanting to solve for the height, which is this guy, it's H. And if we're looking for some reading material, we're gonna be looking in the PE manual in section 1.3.7.11. Uh, and it's going to be the right circular cone and we can solve for the volume V equals pi r squared. When you, the trick to this one is we need to use all of our knowns in the problem. Pi r squared times h over 3. Okay. So uh, we need to start thinking, okay, what, what do we have? What are we given? How can we solve for volume? So our density rho is equal to mass over volume. So that's a relationship we need to know in order to solve for this. Well, it gives us mass, uh, 12 tons. It gives us our specific weight, which in this case we can use for as our density, 113. Uh, our mass was 12. Well, we need to convert from, from tons to pounds in order to get cubic feet. Notice our units. Our units will work out by doing this. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, if we solve for volume, you're gonna end up with 12 tons on top, which by the way is equal to 24,000, which by the way is equal to 24,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds in a ton, over 113 pounds per cubic foot. All right. So when you do that, you end up with cubic feet as your resultant, and it ends up being 212.4 feet cubed. All right, so we can use that in our formula here to solve for H. We still need this R value. That's what we need to solve for now is that R value. Well, uh, what exactly is the R? Well, the R is actually, if you look at the diagram, it kind of shows you uh, something similar to this, you have an R and an H. Well, we know our angle is 30 degrees, right? Uh, we're solving for this H. We can find this R. We can find that by going the, by using rise over run, and we can actually solve and put it into a unit that we know, H, or a unit that we're solving for, H, right? Um, so there's a relationship here called tangent. So the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to, remember TOA, SOCA TOA, opposite over adjacent. So H over R. So notice here, we can actually, we can make it to where our R is a function of our H. So we can multiply by R, divide by the tangent of 30, and you should end up with R. I'm just going to do this. R is equal to h over the tangent of 30. All right, so we can plug this into our formula, right? We can plug that into our OG formula up there. Uh, our volume, let's remember, was 212.4 cubic feet per second, or sorry, cu cubic feet, uh, and that is equal to pi times our r. Remember, our r is h over the tangent of 30 h over the tangent of 30 that needs to be squared don't forget the square you can miss a problem by that uh, times h over 3 
So let's solve for H. And hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources to help you pass your PE exam the first time. So with that said, we need to actually simplify this down a little bit. Uh, if you, you move some things around, three times 212.4 cubic feet uh, over pi is equal to h, h over the tangent 30 squared times h. So then you can go, you can simplify this out, 202.827 cubic feet. That is equal to h cubed over 0 0.33. So when you solve for h, you should end up with 4.07 feet. So now the question was, it won't get any higher than what? Uh, it's the resulting pile height will not be more than what we got 4.07 so Let's look for something close. It looks like it's a so hey, I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time